All right, I've had a question about number six. This is in lesson five in the second part of the homework. A light plane is traveling at 175 kilometers on that heading. So I'm going to draw Cartesian plane with north being up, east to my right. So this plane's heading north eight degrees east. So it's heading this direction. I'll exaggerate that angle a little bit for myself. And I'm going to do this algebraically. So that's not the angle I want. I want that one right there. So the 82 degrees is the angle I will be working with. The wind vector. It's 40 kilometers an hour from north 80 east. And this is where a lot of people make a uh, problem. So this is what a lot of people will draw. And it's not right. And I'll explain the why here. Oops. First of all, it's not right altogether. Let's try that again. Sorry north 80 east, so it'd be over here. So a lot of people draw that right there. So again, that angle is 80 degrees. So I really want this angle down here, which is 10. But here's the key. It's from there. So the arrowhead isn't right there. The arrowhead is technically at the origin. So this is how you would draw your wind vector, because it's pushing the plane that direction. The 10 from symmetry would be over there, and then we have our 40 kilometer hour wind. All right, so that's what the two vectors look like in the end. One's pointing up into the right quadrant, top right quadrant, and the other one's in the bottom left. And it's that word from, okay? And that's how I'll word any of the homework or journal questions as well, using the word from. So algebraically, my plane is heading 175 cos 82i plus 175 sine 82j. My wind vector, I'm going to add those vectors together. Wind, it has a negative x component, so negative 40 cos 10i. And it has a negative y component, so negative 40 sine 10j. Add those vectors together, and I'll get my resultant. So using the calculator, 175 cos 82 plus negative 40 cos 10. I end up with negative uh, negative 15i approximately. Bracket 175 sine 82 plus bracket negative 40 sine 10. So assuming I punch this into the calculator properly, 166.4j, there is my resulting vector. So the plane is actually traveling over here somewhere. So this wind, the wind vector has pushed the plane over in that direction. And it looks like it's slowed it up, but we'll just double check that. Still, so determine the ground's plane, plane's ground velocity, which I need, means I need the speed and distance. So negative 15 squared, 166.4 squared. So that would give me, oops, square root bracket. So negative 15 squared plus 166.4 squared. It must be 167, so it has slowed the plane down a little bit, that headwind. And tan theta is the y component over x component. And again, you don't need to put your negatives in here because we know the direction it's heading. So I get an angle of, uh, let's see, tan 166.4 divided by 15. That gives me 80, let's call it 85 degrees. Make it easy. So therefore, 167 kilometers an hour heading. It's negative, so we know we're heading west. 85 degrees to the north. And that's because that was positive. All right. So that's how you do it algebraically. To do it geometrically for this one, so if I draw the triangle for you again, the triangle would look like this. So here's the plane heading at 175 kilometers an hour with an angle of 
82 to the horizontal. Then the wind vector would come in. And we'll go this direction at an angle of 10 degrees. And then your resultant would be right there. So the only angle you could find, if I got a highlighter here, use yellow, Z pattern. So we know that from a Z pattern, we know that that angle would be 82 degrees. So the whole angle there, that's 82. Let's try not to make much mess here. And using the highlighter, let's pick uh, purple. We just want that angle. So that means the angle you'd have to use would be 72 degrees. So it would be 82 minus the 10. So the resulting picture, if I just draw it up one more time here for you, so it's kind of neat. Here's your triangle, 175, 40, and that angle is 72, and there's your resultant. So that's the triangle you'd be using if you're doing the geometric method. You would end up looking for this angle theta, and you would tell me that it was so many degrees counterclockwise from the plane's original heading. You wouldn't have to give me an east and west necessarily. Hopefully that answers your question. If you have any other follow-ups, um, you'll notice I do do the algebraic method for this, and I'll tell you the algebraic method is a much cleaner and quicker method because drawing that picture is where a lot of people fall down. But if you're comfortable with the picture, by all means, use the geometric method. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try to clarify them.